Good morning. And this is Kevin DeParin. And right now I am going to preach right in front of the Portland Police Department. That's the central precinct over there. And I have to preach to them because I've watched this took place. So hopefully God will give me favor with these people because I wasn't expecting this this morning. Okay. Let me stop it. Good morning. Um, Portland uh, Central Precinct and anybody else who's in the area that can hear what I have to say. Today is uh, Wednesday, December uh, 10, 2014. The name is Kevin DeClaren. I just got off a 911 call talking to the uh, 911 operator um, about the fact that for the last six months, I've been kept homeless by the homeless community, the gay community, uh, Keith Franklin, Gabriel Franklin, John MacArthur, and uh, probably the Klan also. I'm not exactly sure why they did, they did this. Six months ago, I was supposed to move into a facility run by the Facilitation Center. Instead of moving into the apartment, they put me outside. I tried two other times to put an application for an apartment, but instead, I've been stuck out here for the last six months. Technically, I'm not a homeless. However, I've had to use that facility. And now, around Christmas time, it's gotten hot. Um, the men have gotten violent as of last night, and I was approached several times by the African Americans, uh, Spanish, Europeans. For some reason or another, they want me out of the city and out of the state. I'm not exactly sure why. This is what they've been doing since 1990. Um, I moved into the West Coast, uh, to California, from California to Washington, from Washington down here, and now they're trying to push me out of the state and move me, and they have done everything possible to send me back to the West Coast. Problem is that West Coast is waiting for me to have me deported back to Haiti and to eventually get killed. Now, the police department right over here uh, knows exactly what's going on because I've been telling them for the last three years that I've had this problem with Gabriel and Keith Franklin. They are not family. Gabriel was a, uh, was, a, was a guardian who took me in, and he is her, supposedly her son. But these people have been sexually assaulting me for the last 16 years in the West Coast, right? So since I left Grace Community Church, where I was supposed to be a graduate of the Master's Seminary, until now. These people have not stopped molesting me and abusing me. The police department in the entire West Coast knows this. But for some reason or another, under the leadership of MacArthur, these people are protected. And so nobody listens to what I have to say. Nobody listens to my story. Nobody wants to side with me. They're all afraid of John and his tenure and his father's authority, who no longer is with us. But for some reason, they won't stick with the Constitution. They won't stick with the Word of God. And the situation is both in the church and the state. Long story short, now Christmas is here. They're telling me to wait um, a year outside of living in an apartment. I don't understand why I have to live outside. I don't understand why I'm being molested by this Haitian woman. I don't understand why the police department will not assist me. I don't understand why I'm being uh, persecuted. In, in the churches. I don't understand what it is that I have done that is wrong. When the government gave me a certificate of, 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 of permanent residency and then a certificate of, of citizenship, I thought I was an equal. But now they're telling me that I need to be a subordinate to this Haitian woman who I was removed from back in 1985 for child abuse. So the woman comes here now with her son and she continues the physical abuse and the physical abuse becomes sexual abuse every single night, everywhere that I've gone, to the point where they're doing it here on the stairs in front of the police department. That doesn't make sense to me. Weeks ago, I gave a note to the chief of police, Reese, asking him to help me with the situation. Chief Reese never called me. Chief Reese never uh, responded to the note. He never, I mean, it's almost like I'm talking to a wall. I'm not even talking to a chief of police. I understand that he's leaving the department come January, but still, the man has a responsibility to do his job, sort of every other office. I understand that I'm from the African-American side and not a European, but 
it doesn't, it doesn't make any sense to me that this is how this is being handled. What am I supposed to do now as a foreigner when you as a race of people don't want me living in New York, you don't want me living in California, you don't want me living in... I can't run to another country. I can't run back to Haiti. Just like you cannot go back to England to restart your life. I cannot go back to Haiti to restart mine. The same way you will not go back to your island in, in, in Europe, I cannot go back to my island in the Pacific, right? Or, or Atlantic, whatever it is. And so the same grace that you ask the Native Americans to accept you here as a people, both you and your slaves, I'm asking you now this morning. The Bible, right? The Bible says that we need to repent in Acts 2.38. The Bible says we need to live a life of repentance in Colossians 3, 1 through 25. The Bible says that there are going to be consequences for those who repent of sin. All those who desire to live godly in Christ Jesus shall be persecuted if you choose to live a life of repentance. I told you my story. You understand the requirements of God. Repentance. I ask you this morning around Christmas time to repent of this, G. Franklin and Gabriel Franklin. To repent of this, John MacArthur. In, in the Master Seminary to repent of this, Barack Obama and whoever else is with your administration. I ask you to repent of this police department. The way you are treating me, you have reverted back to slavery. Repent! Stop living this way. And if you've done it to me, you've also done it to the African American people and to the other internationals that have come to live in this country. I'm asking you this morning, on behalf of God and Christ, to repent of these maltreatments that you are putting us through. This is a wicked thing that you are doing. You shouldn't be doing this. You're better than this. I mean, I mean, we, we, we can't run out of the country to go live somewhere else. You've got to give us some sort of freedom so that we can live our lives. The lives that God has given to us. We can't just cater to you. We've got to live the life that God has given to us so that we can become the things that God wants us to be. And so I ask you on behalf, on behalf of God and Christ, repent. Right? Let's talk about your repentant lives. We don't want to talk about your homosexuality. We don't want to talk about your submission, reputation, and slavery. We want to talk about your repentant lives. If you will allow it. I don't want to be roaming the streets at night. I'd rather be in my home in my apartment. I don't want to be beaten by this woman or by your rod. I don't want to be shot in the face and barred out of a central precinct police department. I don't want to be mistreated any more than you want to mistreat me. So as a Christian, I ask you, according to the Word of God, Acts 2.38, okay, Colossians 3, 1-25, through 25, repent. And just endure whatever God has in store. That's all I'm asking for, is repentance. I'm not asking you for money. I'm not asking you for sex. I'm not asking you for your daughters. I'm not asking you for a million bucks. It would have been nice if I had found an apartment when I went searching for it in Beaverton, in Clackamas, in Tigard, and even here in Portland. But nobody wants to go into an apartment complex and be molested by somebody that was their guardian. Nobody wants to be abused. The same way you didn't like 9-11, neither do I like for two leaders to be doing this to me, Barack and John MacArthur. You don't want me to call your queen a whore. Is Gabriel Franklin and he person representing the, the, the Charles and Elizabeth, whatever Windsor their names are? If, if Gabriel and Dee person are representing them, look at what they're doing to me. Look at what they're doing to me with the homosexuals. That's the position of the king of Sodom. Look at what they're doing to me. She's an old woman. Look at what she's doing.